Along Podcast. I'm Christy. I'm Ashley. Thanks for joining us. If you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for coming back and checking us out again. And if you're new, welcome. We're so glad you're here. We have exciting news. We reached over a hundred subscribers on YouTube. Woohoo! Thank you. Cheers, guys. Cheers. It's very exciting. I thought it'd be like just us watching yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we probably check it way more than we should though. <laughs> People actually like us? What? Well, they didn't say that they like well, us. Well, yeah, that's they, they true. Just that's, us. Yeah, just watch us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But thank you so much. It's so exciting to go on and see that we have new subscribers. Yeah, and like see people like follow us on our Instagram, which is Knit Along Podcast, if you want to give us a follow over there. And comment in our Ravelry group, which yes. is just Knit Along Podcast yep. on Ravelry. Uh, you can find me on Instagram under Christy Kane. And I'm Nomadic Yarns on Instagram. And on Ravelry, I'm Christy. And I'm Ashypoo22. So come find us. <laughs> yes. Um, we also have an email, which is knitalongpodcast at gmail.com, and a blogger. Yeah, that's uh, knitalongpodcast at blogspot.com. Mm -hmm. That's or, where you post show notes. and Yeah, and there's yeah. show notes in the Ravelry group, too. So lots of places to find it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so We try to stay on top of things, but you know, it takes it takes us a few days sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So, how have you been? Uh, sick. Uh, Everyone's been sick at my house, so not a lot of knitting, a lot of coughing. I'm, so I sound a little not great today, but, you know, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. sick, but it was a uh, opening day for the baseball today, which is very exciting for me. Exciting. So, got to watch the Cubbies a little bit, which is, you know, one of my, one of my things, you know. <laughs> Grew up with a Cuban grandma. We watched baseball a lot. <laughs> My grandma loved basketball. She's yeah. all about the Chicago Bulls. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. It was, it was kind of weird. It was very out of character for her, but she went through a phase. <laughs> really? Yep. Ours, mine's just like the Cubs. Like, I don't remember not being a Cubs fan. No. Like, ever. I didn't even know the White Sox existed until I was in grade school. One other, and, like, kids were, like, talking about it. I'm like, what? There's two teams here? <laughs> I didn't know that. I've never been to a Cubs game. Really? I know. Oh. I need to change that this year. It's fun. It yeah, you fun. should go. Baseball games are super fun. Yeah. Get to sit outside in the sun, drink some beer. It's a fun time. Take the train home. <laughs> yeah. Although like I've been to a couple opening days and those aren't those are kind of fun but they're just they're still pretty cold. It wasn't, yeah. You know it's nice like June. June's a good time to go see the Cubs. It's pretty nice the past few days. It's a little rainy but mm -hmm. warm. So yeah, that's nice. No more snow hopefully. Right. Hopefully. Well, I think it's supposed to snow on Sunday actually. Or don't Saturday. Don't I don't know. I don't it's, know. Thursday, so yeah, we'll, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday. Yeah, it's uh. What, what day is it? March 29th. 29th. Yeah. Yes. So anyway, I didn't get anything finished. Did you get anything finished? I do have some finished objects. Yeah. I have two. I'll have more next time, hopefully. But, um, yeah, so this is, I, you've seen this before, but this is my Copper and Candle Wax Shawl by Sylvia McFadden. I blocked it out, um, but I think I need to steam block it a little bit. You grab that in for me. So yeah, it's just a little triangular shawl. And it's the Plucky Knitter, Plucky Trusty in the Rouge colorway. And I ended up following my instincts and doing another lace repeat on the chart um, in the pattern. I had quite a bit of yarn left over. So, yeah, it worked out quite nicely. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's a good size now. I think it, was, it would have been too small if I had just done the three repeats, but I really like it. I'm a fan. I love me some worsted weight shawls. Mm -hmm. Really love the color. Yeah, it has an I cord bind off, so nice and nice edging. It's good. It's a good color on you too. Matches the wall. Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> but um, weird. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I guess I like what I like. <laughs> Um, so yeah, this yarn has been in my stash for a while, so it felt kind of good to use it up. I've bought a lot of Plucky over the past few years, and I'm sure I'll buy more <laughs> at some point. Um, and then I also finished my first pair of socks from my sock knitting machine. So, here they are. 
And I have two different sock blockers because everything is a mess, I guess. <laughs> but this is um, Skein Yarns in the Top Draw Sock Base in the Intergalactic colorway. And it's a really soft sock blend. It's, um, mm -hmm. it's just merino, but it's super soft. And I'm glad I have more of this in my stash because it's lovely to work with. And I did um, an Afterthought heel. Afterthought toe and then afterthought ribbing too. So this just came from the tube and I picked up stitches. I need to block them. I need to work on my afterthought heels. It's been probably four years since I've done an afterthought heel, so yeah. Really happy with these. Happy to have a, a pair of finished socks to to wear. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Um so what are you working on? Uh, I'm still uh, plugging along on my weekender, and I, I match inadvertently <laughs> to my, my cardigan that I wear all the time, store-bought. <laughs> looks super comfy. I, yeah, I wear it like every day. It's kind of sad. <laughs> I have one of those too. Uh, I, didn't get, I didn't get dressed up today. Well, I, didn't really, I don't usually get dressed up anyway, but you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm still plugging along on my weekender by Andrea Maury. This is Brooklyn Tweed Shelter in the newsprint colorway. I love it. Um, I also have an itty bitty sock started. I don't even know why I'm showing you guys this because it's like it's like four rows. But this <laughs> is gonna be the fragment uh, sock from Lane issue four. I believe that's Helen Stewart who's the designer. I think it's Curious Handmade is her yeah. her podcast. Mm -hmm. And I'm using Plucky Primo in the early light colorway which I've never worked with before. I forgot I even had this yarn. I found it in my stash the other day. Not sponsored by Plucky? No, not sponsored by Plucky at all. And um, then, What needles are you using? These are uh, Knitter's Pride Carbons, I believe, in the size zeros. So, first of all, I don't like Magic Loop. Sorry, come at me. <laughs> I just, I'll I, come at you. I, I don't like Magic Loop. <laughs> DPS for life. Um, but I kept breaking my bamboo zeros, like, oh. constantly. I just, like, leave them places and, like, you know. Step on them. Step, well, like, or, yeah, or yeah. kid got into them or whatever. So I finally broke down. I know when I was at work, I was just like, I need three pairs of zeros. Because <laughs> I ended all my socks on zeros. So. Me too. We're going to, yeah, I'll see how that works. But anyway. Um, and then good old Kodikas which, of course, I'm in the middle of the row. Sorry, gang. So I just finished the second color work chart last night. I'm very excited. So it's coming along. Hopefully this is in focus. You've made some good progress. I have. Yeah. Well, I've, I've really just been weekender in this for the most part. Um, so yeah, it's coming along. Uh, color work flat is such a drag. Like, I do not like purling back on those color it's on those color rows. I'm just ugh. I would be further along if I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I should have steeped. Oh no. That oh, should be a future thing that we no, should try to do. No, I have a steep. No, I. So I made my son mm. a Big Lebowski mm. sweater, and I steeped it, and the steep came out. No. Yeah. And it was when I didn't really knit a lot when my daughter was really little. So it was the only thing I knit for an entire year. The only thing I knit. And the steak got all, I did something wrong with the steak. It's coming apart. It was a disaster. Knitting horror story. Oh God, I, I like, I feel very emotional just talking about I'm it I'm right getting now. emotional. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and then it didn't fit him. So that was, that was fun. It fits my daughter a little bit. It's kind of, it's really big on her, but. Can you like reinforce it? I, tr I tried, oh. and then what it did, it, it made it kind of like misshapen, oh, no. so like the, just kind of like flips out. I bought ribbon to sew, to sew over the steak, which I haven't done yet because I'm just mad at it, but by the time I'm not mad at it anymore, like both my kids are going to be too big for it. Maybe baby number three. Oh my gosh, what are you <laughs> talking about? It's craziness. I just commented on like Christy, Go Christy Glass, she was like talking about like baby wrangling oh and like another baby and I was just like, I always think that I see a newborn and then like one of my kids like breaks something or like has a tantrum 
I'm like, oh wait, no, I don't want to do that again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry, I'm still a little sick. Ah, <sighs> yeah, no more babies. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so how how's your cootie guys going? It's good. I just finished a row, so I stopped. Um, <laughs> I made some progress. I got through the first chart. It was just like a little little nubbin last time. Oh, it's so pretty. But yeah. I love that peach. I know. House of Alamode, Glitter Peachy. It's so nice. And then the main gray is Yarn in the House, Big Sister, and Wild Rice. And this dark purpley pink is Neighborhood Fiber Company in Moundaw Min. And yeah. Um, so the big sister has cashmere in it, which I didn't realize when Ooh, I ordered it. So that's like an fancy. extra added treat. <laughs> but I love the glitter peachy. I'm going to need a sweater or something out of it. Yeah. It's crazy. That's a good color. Crazy banana's good. Oh, mine's in Brooklyn Tweed Arbor. I mean, it's shocking, I know. In case I, I think I forgot Not to add sponsored that. by Brooklyn Not Tweed. sponsored, but if you wanted to sponsor us, I'd be down. Yeah. <laughs> The charm, Jared. We need more yarn. <laughs> oh, just wait, you guys. We yeah. went on a bender. Oh, yeah. There's no better. Uh, yeah, word. I bet, I, that bender's a perfect, perfect description of what happened. The D stash exploded. Oh my lord. Okay. <laughs> anyway, moving I'm on. Like, I'm like having like flashbacks right now. Um, <laughs> Some of it I cranked, but I'll save that for next time. <laughs> it was so funny when I was doing the editing for the last episode, when we pulled out the sock snake, there was just like pure joy on our faces. <laughs> it, was, it was a beautiful moment. It was amazing. Um, but yes, I did finish, or I have been working on some more socks. They're in various states of doneness. Um, I'll start with the most done. So, <laughs> this is... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. This, this is like a, com you know, a common occurrence. <laughs> um, so this is... We haven't been drinking before this, by the way. Oh, I should start. Yeah, you should. Salute. Um, so this is Nomadic Yarns Brit Sock in the Mischief Managed colorway. And you can see I have the toes the cuff, and then I just split this one open to put the heel in. And this one doesn't have a heel yet, but it's marked. There's that. And then I have, this is a new colorway that I came up with. Um, it's inspired by one of my older colorways that I used to dye before I did self-striping. But this is Nomadic Yarns Twisty Sock. And I'm thinking, so it, it's based on the color Old Soul, so I might go with that color. I'm not sure, though, so we'll see. It's pretty. It'll be in the shop on Monday, I think. And then this is another new one. I love that yellow. Isn't that good? It's so good. I it's would like, do a whole sweater in that. It's scum. Scummy goodness. Yeah. So this was a... I had... Um, some yarn that I had messed up, I had gotten like dye speckles on. So I had to like fix it and I made a one of a kind, but I really like it. So I'm going to sell it as a colorway. And this one has the toe and the ribbing done. And this one I've just started the toe. And there's the other end. And that will also be up Monday, I think. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. And then I have some more tubes. We have, I've had like a few questions about my sock knitting machine, so I thought I'd just kind of go over a few things. So I bought the Erlbacher Gearheart Speedster. It's super cute. It's red. It needs a name. I'm leaning towards Frida because it's mm. fierce and feisty and red. Um, it was an investment. I did not make this purchase lightly. Um, it's pretty expensive. But I've wanted one for a few years now, so that's just something to keep in mind. And you can only do like one size per cylinder, and the cylinders are kind of expensive too. But they're super fr super friendly and super helpful, so I messaged them and asked them like what size they would recommend based on my gauge. They told me to go with the 60 since I usually knit 60 stitches when I knit my socks. 
and I adjusted the tension a little bit like these socks are kind of big and you probably won't be able to see but the parts that I knit myself are a bit tighter and that's just because this was just straight out of the box I didn't fiddle with anything so I tightened my gauge up a little bit and now the socks that I'm working on are pretty close to my actual knitting gauge so I don't think I'll run into that issue again and I've had a few people ask me um, like how I turn a tube into a sock so I've got some tubes this is golden hour which I just came out with last week and it's on my trusty sock base and this is Lolo did it in the hippo for Halloween colorway and I do things differently if I'm doing the self striping versus the speckled or variegated so if I was making a sock out of this one I would just fold it in half put a stitch marker in to mark the middle and cut it in half and then I just pick up the stitches, grab my ball of yarn, start knitting, either whichever one. I could do, you know, heels from here, or toes from here, ribbing from here, be fine. The self-striping takes a little bit more effort because I like my stripes to match. Um, so I still do the same kind of thing. Fold it in half, place the stitch marker here. But I have to go from opposite directions. So what I'll do is I know how many rows I like for ribbing. So I'll cut it. And then if I want to do the ribbing from this end, I'll know, hey, I like to do a repeat and a half of ribbing. So I'll put my needles here. I'll pick up the stitches here. I'll just unravel it. And then I'll start knitting the ribbing. And then I'll have to do the toe down here. Then I'll kind of flip it, and I'll have to do the toe from here and the ribbing from here. So I'll pick up the stitches here, do my repeat and a half here. And then when I do the toes, I know about how many stripes a toe needs. So I'll kind of overestimate. Usually I can get a toe out of three or four stripes. So I usually put my needle in maybe five or six stripes up here. And I'll lose a little bit of yarn, but it's not a huge deal. And Things have been working out so far. I haven't finished any of my striping socks yet, but you can see I've got a little bit of black up there, but they match up pretty pretty well. And then for um, afterthought heels, I was trying to do the Susan B. Anderson smooth operator sock pattern, but a little. It's, it's pretty long. She does a really well jo good job of um, doing like pictures and tutorials and whatnot. I didn't have time for that, so I just fell back on my usual afterthought heel pattern, which is by Laura Linneman, I believe. I'll post a link here. So I just um, measured. My foot is about nine and a quarter inches long, and she has you go about two inches less. So this is about seven inches, and yeah. I did that for this one, Ooh. and they fit pretty well. So I'm sure I'll have more to share on that next time, once I have a few more socks, but I mean, it doesn't take me very long to get through. I've worked on other things this week, but mostly the socks, and I made some good progress. Hopefully these will all be done by next time. I make no promises though. I keep I kept like cranking out stuff and I'm like, okay, I need to limit my cranking to the weekend. Otherwise <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna end up with like a room full of tubes and no socks. Um You can crank my my yard. <laughs> all the D stash. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, I have one more whip, I forgot. <laughs> I got sucked into sock talk, but sock talk. Sock talk. Um, so I pulled out an old whip because I was like needing something new to work on. I haven't gotten very far on it. But this is A Place to Call Home by Sylvia McFadden because I always need a worsted weight shawl on the needles apparently. And it's in Weekend Wool. 
by Green Mountain Spinnery. It's really it's, nice. Yeah. It's pretty rustic. And this is two ply worsted weight in the lichen colorway. So I'm really excited to get those back on my needles. Um, I had to pinch the needles for something else, but these are my Chiaogu interchangeables. I've used many interchangeable sets and I really like these. Um, all the, all the add-ons are really easy to find. You can get them on Amazon. Most of my local yarn shops that I shop at have the components. Um, for my socks, I use Haya Haya Sharps mostly. They have a really good tip and they're pretty affordable. And Magic Loop all the way. No. Yeah. So, we bought some stuff. You can't see it right now, but the table is, we'll post a picture on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, yeah, it's on Instagram, but. The table is covered <laughs> in yarn. Uh, We've made some bad decisions. Or really good decisions. The best bad decisions. The best. The best. This is like the sock snake all over again. <laughs> Oh, geez. <clears throat> so what'd you buy? Okay, well, wait, we need to preface this a little bit. Okay, okay so my <laughs> dear friend Ashley came across someone distashing amazing yarn. Hey, Susie. <laughs> on Etsy. Oh, my god. And then just like a, a bunch of stuff happened. It spiraled out of control. Out of control. So. We're terrible, but also the best. Show me to go first. You can go first. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you guys like clumps of the things. So I got five <laughs> Desert Vista, Vista Dye Works. So I'll just good. run through them real quick. Suffragette. Oh. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's awesome. This is my favorite one. This is Soul Train. Hopefully this is focusing. Do like the makeup person thing where they put the hand behind it. Like the makeup YouTubers? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I'm just going to hide my face. <laughs> Holiday Stripes. Oh, YouTube thing. This is probably not working. I look really stupid right now. Um, two can. I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> two can. That's good too. And time out. Take five. Okay. So. And then. You want to borrow my bucket? What? Oh no, I have a bag. Okay. <laughs> so like, it all fit in my, like it, was, it all fits in my tote bag, like jammed in there. It's kind of hilarious. Anyway, okay, so those are gone. And then I have Hedgehog Sock in Potluck. And then um, Twist Sock. I have um, Urchin, which is super rad. I'm real excited to work with that. Boombox, That's good. which is amazing. And what's this one called? Sea Fern. So I'm pumped about those. Okay, I'm trying to be quick here. <laughs> Skein. And this is pixelated in the MCN sock, which is very pretty and lovely. It's really pretty. And this is Top Draw Sock in Philosopher. Check that out, people. You're going to love knitting with I'm it. I'm really excited. It's really soft. I'm going to have to knit socks every day for the rest of my life after this. It's a way of life. <laughs> Yarn Ink in Era. And I think I Instagrammed this. Oh, like a while ago. But anyway. That's really pretty. But I really like it. I've never had yarn with Stellina in it before. So what? I'm not like a glittery person. So glitter socks are the best though. Life on the life in the long grass in Damask. So that's really pretty. That might be something cute for my daughter. I'm not sure. Do a sweater. Yeah. People who fields in North Beach. Okay, almost done. Cat sandwich which I love. My son is obsessed with this yarn. He like... Hi, MJ. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> My three-year-old loves you. I love your yarn. <laughs> and then this is not the stash, but I finally snagged a blush knit in um, Dreams. So, they sell it really fast. I always miss the updates. Like, I always forget about it. Pro tip, Apple Pay. Apple I just Pay. like, was like, yeah, I'll take this one. <laughs> Done. No cart jacking. It was amazing. I'm all about That's it. That's good to know. <sighs> I've never used Apple Pay. I had to take it off of my phone because of all of this. Do you need it, a cigarette now? <laughs> <laughs> this is just a little stressful. I don't know. It's a lot of, a lot of sock yarn for someone who doesn't really knit socks. It's okay. But the deals, the deals, people, so good. Anyway, 
Your turn. I <laughs> I bought a lot more than I have right here, but Excuse for me. the sake of time, I'm going to kind of whittle it down to some of my top picks and ones that I haven't like really used before or that I'm super enjoying. Um, I also got a cat sandwich fiber. This is she ate all my fruit roll ups. Oh, which is so, awesome. so cute. Um, so I've been cranking up some of my cat sandwich because I have some in my stash and I bought a few more from D stash and they are super fun. Like once I start cranking them, they knit up beautifully. I'll post a picture if I can. So highly recommend cat sandwich. And I know that she's producing more and having more updates now. Ooh. Um, so it's not, some things do sell out. I really want Lavender by the Bay, and that's one that's been selling out really quickly. But you can always check, and, you know, if you get in within the first five minutes, you probably have a good chance of snagging some. But yeah, beautiful. So fun to knit. And then I have some Life in the Long Grass. This is the... Artifact on the 7525. I'm obsessed with this one. Look at those speckles. It's so good. It's so good. Mm -hmm. And this is the Twist Sock 2 ply, which is her 8020 in the rose hip colorway. Okay. Um I got my first people who fields. And look at her branding. It's so cute. So cute. It's like a nutrition facts thingy, <laughs> but it's for yarn facts. So this is Patina, and it's an 80-20 Superwash Merino. Cool beachy kind of colors. Mm -hmm. This one I've seen on Instagram and Ravelry for probably three years now. It's been quite a while. Uh, Stimpy Lab. This is Strong Sock in the Rave in a Graveyard colorway. It's another 80-20, which is my preferred sock yarn. Lots of speckles, very Halloween-y, super fun. The scummy green is back. <laughs> um, I also bought Desert Vista Dye Works because even though I dye self-striping yarn, there's always room for more in the stash. This is Scaredy Cat. It's one of her Halloween no, colorways. I almost bought that one, I think. Yeah. I, I saw it on Instagram, and I was like, maybe I want that. And that popped up in D stash. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get it. I got a Hedgehog Twist Sock, which is 80-20 BFL in nylon in the Fiesta colorway. Super fun. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it like... I know. Hopefully these are on camera because I didn't do a check when we restarted. Oh, maybe we should do that. <laughs> if not, whatever. <laughs> you get the gist. We bought a lot of yarn. Um, it, was, it, was, it was a whirlwind. It's happening very quickly. Yes. Multiple purchases. <laughs> Uh, my first Nora George, we purchase like every day. I but know. My first Nora George yarn, she does a lot of Harry Potter colorways and she's in England so I haven't had the chance to buy her yarn yet because I always miss her updates. This is Mr. Weasley's Ford Anglia. This is the flying car, which is, it looks, it looks like the flying car. Mm -hmm. And I got a Woolberry Fiber Co. Love that. I know, it's so good. Um, sock Blank. This is the 7525 in Pressed Eucalyptus. Let's pull it out. Look at that. Super gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited to get my Gilmore Girls yarn. Perfect for spring. And you can do the Sock Blanks on the knitting machine, you just need to cake them up first. So this will be fun to Knit, but it might be too it might be too pretty for the sock machine. I might need to do like a yeah. shawl or something. Um, it's really pretty. And then I also so this isn't from the D stash. So I totally <laughs> forgot that I signed up for this. And it arrived in the mayhem of D stash Palooza. Um, I signed up for the Hedgehog Lucky Dip Club times two. So Lucky Dips are basically one of a kind and you just, they just grab 
from a giant bin of magic, I would imagine. They grab at least three skeins for you and send them on to you. You don't know what you're getting, you don't know what base, whatever, one of a kind. And yeah, I did it times two because I can't help myself. So the first package had these three. This is Merino Lace, and they're all potluck because that's just the one of a kind colorway. Potluck Merino Lace. Potluck Sock Yarn. I love this oh, one that so, so much. much. <laughs> it has scum and hot pink. What Still more could green. you want? This one is their Cashmere Merino Base, 50-50 Cashmere Merino. And then the second round, or second package, because I did it times two, is Merino DK. Skinny Singles, which is essentially Oracle, but we love Oracle, so mm -hmm. we're fine with that. And then a Sock Yarn. That one's really pretty too. It is. So I got a nice little assortment from the first batch. And that's oh, totally man. all of the yarn I've bought these past <laughs> two weeks. Oh, sock yarn forever. Yeah. Or knitting with sock yarn forever. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> this is happening? Alright. <laughs> oh, it's been a little, we're anyway. a little slap happy right now. Oh, goodness. Yeah, so, yeah, so we just kept, like, messaging each other. Have you checked it? Have you checked it? Is there more stuff? And then, like, we each carjacked each other. <laughs> We have enough yarn. Oh, we don't, we don't care. There's no animosity. It's just funny. Um, <laughs> conveniently, it always seems to happen when I finish work for the day. Like, I'll finish up and I'll be like, I'm just going to check. And there's always new stuff. Yeah. And I'm just like... And then I'll text Christy. I'll be like, it's happening. It's happening. And then I just like stop what I'm doing. I'm like, hang on, children. Do, do, do. You know? You don't eat dinner yet. Yeah. I bought a bunch while making dinner. That is the With my app, the magic of uh, Apple Pay, which now I took off my phone. But then, surprise, I found out I forgot I had a bunch of points on my credit card, so I paid for all this stuff. So I feel better, but I'm on a yarn diet now. I know. So, not. here's my yarn diet, you guys. I'm probably not going to stick with it. So, I cannot buy anything else online until Stitches, which is in August. Stitches Midwest. I do have one skein of Woolberry coming my way, which I already paid for, so it doesn't count. I have a skein of the Gilmore Hi, Girls Bethany. coming my way. Hey! I <laughs> uh, love your yarn! Um, so anyway, and so I'm not going to buy anything online anymore, and then I can only buy stuff at my job, unless if I have a project in mind. I like the project in mind well, stipulation. Yeah, well I have some projects in mind that I don't have yarn for, yeah. so. You never know. And I basically just work there to buy yarn so <laughs> and get out of the house <laughs> so you know you need it yeah you need to make that job count my one day a month although I haven't worked in like a really long time because, you still get the discount well yeah because <laughs> uh yeah like, it always like I always buy people to work for me because I have something going on usually <laughs> <sighs> this is too pretty for socks I think what oh it's so good maybe like a little babies. Well, you don't want to give it away. No, I don't want to give it away, and I'm not having. How about a hat? How about a hat? That's yeah, that's a good hat. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I don't know. Like my son is just like he like thinks that like the idea of a cat sandwich is so hilarious, and he says he wants cat sandwich yarn. Or she socks. sells pins. I know. I know. Yeah, we you went need on, to get him a pin. We went on their web we went on we went on her website together. My son actually was just like, "That's so funny," <laughs> and he like loves it. So I think I'm going to make him like a little pair of socks with this. Maybe we'll do like mother's son socks. That would be adorable. I don't know. That's a little like mother, no, it's mother cute, boy, though. like Lucille and, uh, and um, Buster. Buster. Yeah. <laughs> that's cute though. He's still little. He's not like 35. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's three. So, but yeah, he just thinks like the concept of a cat sandwich is like too funny. You need to get him a pin. Yeah, maybe. So anyway, yeah, we buy a bunch of yarn. No regrets. No well, regrets. A few regrets because it's it's taking up a lot of space. Yeah, I kind of. I just need to crank. I them. don't like regret it as much as it stresses me out. Yeah. Because it's adding to the stash. It happened all so fast. I have been putting my stash into Ravelry. Oh. I I put a lot that. in there, so I have. Yeah. It's good. And then I have an Excel <laughs> spreadsheet. Of, like all my yarn. 
I don't yeah. feel it. Uh, I, yeah, I like try to like make every year's total be like less than the year before. It's not going to be this year though. That's all fingering. Yeah, money. I know it's not going to be this year. <laughs> but it usually is. Like it usually is. Okay. This podcast uh, was a great idea. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Anyway. I say anyway a lot on this podcast, I know. I say um. Yeah. Yeah, so we had a, we have a lost take episode, um, <laughs> it wasn't, everything was like off screen, Yeah, and it was just super awkward, and also my nervous tick was reaching for my wine glass every time I wanted to say um, so I'm like, I'm just gonna let the um stick out and not, just go with it. not look like a drunk. I say like a lot, and I, I, do too. I wish I didn't. We're we're sorry. Sorry. What are you gonna do? You do it too. We're probably. keeping it real. Keeping it real, people. Um, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. Lots of socks today. I'm real pumped that I got a lush knit. I'm so excited. You guys, be nice to Megan on yeah, Instagram. Yeah, be nice to Megan. I went to comment how excited I was about it's getting hard. something, and someone was people were griping about not getting yarn. Be nice to her. We okay. all get cart jacked. It happens to yeah, the best of us. Yeah, it happens to the best of us. I, yeah. Just be nice. It's worth it when you finally get yes. it. Yes. It's so nice. So. And Megan has small children and she has like another job. Yeah. She's, yeah. Be nice to her. Hi, Megan. Hi. You're I not watching. You're not watching, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I don't know. Should we talk about dream knits? Dream knits? Okay. So, my like forever dream knit is Zwag or Zwag. Me too, Zwag. And that's one of the things I have to buy yarn for. So. I have yarn. Yeah. I have yarn in multiple. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, my, my kitty's sick and she keeps sneezing if you heard that. Um, she wants snuggles right now. <laughs> Bethany from Woolberry Fiber Co. Woolberry Podcast. She is hosting a knit along. I'm not sure when it starts off the top of my head. I'll post it here. Or oh the, yeah, the Zweig pullover. Right. Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Excuse me. It's Sorry. contagious. <laughs> Stay away. Ah. Um. So I'm probably gonna get out, get in on that once I finalize my choice because I have a few options. Yeah, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Brooklyn Tweed. Well, loft. I thought I was gonna do loft, but now I might do Marina Light, Tash Marina Light. Be I haven't been to work in a while. I guess see what we have going on. I heard we're getting like 150 colors. You could use this as your contrast color. No. I mean, no. I like that, but I really want to make socks out of that. Okay. I love it. I'm so excited that I finally have a skein. I don't know. I was thinking maybe using the good. urchin as my contrast color and then maybe ordering. Well, that breaks my yarn dye rule. I don't know. And but then, you have a project in mind. Yeah, that's true. And then maybe ordering like a salad from Hedgehog. I'm not sure. I got time. I'm still, like, plugging along on this thing. Like, this thing's, like, going nowhere. You have to finish that first. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, Zweig's my dream is. Or Zwe is it Zweig or Zweig? Zweig. Zweig. Yeah. Zweig. Zweig. Whatever. I love it. I want to make it. Boylan Networks. Kayla Hunter. Um, that's, like, my, like, forever dream knit. I have a few. So, since I've started cranking the socks, I have a rule. I can only crank on weekends now, um, because otherwise I get, I have two giant sock snakes at this point, and how many finished socks do I have? One pair. So I can only crank on weekends. It's calming. I leave it set up just so that I can go up there if I have a, a moment of panic, <laughs> just crank something out. But I have all of these little scraps now, and I'm so excited <gasps> because I have no mini skeins. I have no mini skeins in my stash, and it's ridiculous. But I really want to knit the adventurous wrap. Have you seen that? Uh, yes. Like, I don't really remember. It's by Amba O'Brien, and it's two triangles that you knit separately, and then you join them, and you use, like, 26 different colors. It's... It was designed in December as like an advent calendar kind of knit along. Mm -hmm. So you knit like one color each day and it's so cute. That's cool. I helped someone find yarn for it, but I like, I'm having trouble like I have a giant thing now. I'll, I'll post a picture, but yeah. it's really cool. And what was stopping me was I didn't have any minis. And Hedgehog sells minis, um, 
mini kits for this and I think Primrose Yarn did and Nice and Knit did but you know they're all super you know they're expensive because you get a lot of yarn mm -hmm. and I was like I have a lot of yarn in my stash but I feel bad breaking into skeins that I haven't used yet so now it's perfect a sock yeah. machine for the win so that's probably going to be a soonish dream knit um, because now that I have the sock machine, I also don't have like movie knitting, like movie theater knitting. Oh. Because I don't want to knit like a toe or a heel. No. In the movies. So I need something nice and simple and garter. That'd be perfect. Yeah. And then I still want to knit the Kobo Cat by <gasps> Caitlin Hunter. Oh, yeah. I have yarn for Me it. Me too. Next knit along. Maybe. Yeah, I have the pattern. We should just change our podcast to the Caitlin Hunter knit along podcast. Hi, Caitlin Hunter. <laughs> You're not watching. <laughs> but I have um, Junkyarn Kemper posted some kits a while back. And it's a strand of DK with a strand of mohair. And I got the 11 kit, 11 from Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. It's super gorgeous. I'm so excited. That will be a lot of fun, I think. People keep posting their finished objects, and I'm like, I need to knit that immediately. Uh, I have Lorna's Laces Honor. Ooh, yeah. And, like, this, like, like kind of sparkly mohair. It's, like, old. Like, it's from when we back, like, when we worked together. I don't even remember them this selling is like, sparkly mohair. Oh, yeah, this is, like, old school, like, deep stash that I have. So. We should do a deep stash knit along at some we point, We totally should. Yeah. To make room for all this new oh stash. Oh my gosh. I actually gave a ton of yarn away to Goodwill. That's crazy. And I probably bought it. Because <laughs> I always go to Goodwill. Um, hey, I did my taxes this week. Oh my god. That was frightening. <coughs> Just Excuse me. figuring out how much money I spent at Goodwill and Salvation Army and the like. Terrifying. Um, one other pattern is the Bane Scarf by Jocelyn of Owl, not sponsored by Oh, Owl. is that the new one? Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I love it. I don't knit scarves, but if I did, I would knit that one. I might make an exception to the yeah. rule. It uses Owash worsted. It's so pretty. I thought it was a baby blanket when I first saw it. It it's could be. So it could be. Aw, oh. sick kitties. I'm gonna have to snuggle her a lot later. <laughs> um, yeah, so she... It's just a beautiful, like, lacy pattern, and mm -hmm. it's a big scarf. It's wide. Super pretty. And I have the, I have yarn in my stash I could use for it. We'll see. I'm, maybe I'm on the fence about the scarf situation. We'll see. Yeah. That's pretty. Mostly the same dream knit. I'm still working on the baby blanket from the past few weeks. It's almost done. I got, I had to order more yarn because I was running out, so I think I have two more wedges and it's done. Could knock those out in a few days. It's just, good. do I want to? Well, I mean, you can <laughs> breathe a little easier now because the baby shower's passed. Yeah, so there's another <laughs> baby shower next weekend, so oh. I want to get it done before then, but if I don't, it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So yeah. Be glad when it's done. <laughs> Less baby knitting. Yeah, baby, baby knitting is a slog. It's a slog. Yeah. Let me tell you. And at the first baby shower, she got probably four other baby blankets. Oh. So I don't feel as bad <laughs> about being late. <laughs> nah. They're all, they're all acrylic, though, so. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I've got, I've got the wool. got the goods. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I don't oh, know. It's been a long week. Those, <laughs> those taxes. <laughs> I always put them off until, well, it's not the last minute because it's still March, but I always put them off until the last minute before my appointment, and then it's just like five days of panic, <laughs> and then it's over for a year. I you can relax. Out. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm just, I walked out and I was like, <sighs> <laughs> all done. All done. Yeah, I still have to do all that. Well, I mean, I don't have a business, but yeah. I still have to do, like, you know. And she, like, does it all for me. It's just me having to get all my stuff together. Mm -hmm. But it's just panic. Stressful. Panic for five days. Yeah. We're back. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> we have a kitty si kitty uh, sidekick. Yeah. I don't know if she's going to stay, but she wants snuggles, and she's sneezing a lot. This is Luna. <laughs> we 
call her chunky because she's got big hips. <laughs> but she's adorable. Uh, oh. Little kitties. <laughs> So what have you been watching? Yeah, so here's the part of the podcast where we rant. Um, <laughs> we go off the deep end. Well, yeah. we already did, but, yeah, you know. Come for the knitting content, stay for the podcasting, or the, the pop culture <laughs> rants. <laughs> um, I've been watching this show called Timeless, oh. which it, like, it aired in 2016. It was canceled after one season, and it got brought back. So it's about these people who have a time machine and they go back in time to try to stop a villain. And it's, you know, it's silly, it's fun, it's on NBC, I is watch it off of Hulu. Is that the one that Mandy Moore was in? I don't I might be think thinking of so. something else. Huh. It has, like, one of the doctors from ER. <laughs> ah! <laughs> but, I, yeah, I couldn't tell you the names of anyone in it. <laughs> so it's silly, we just, you know, throw it on after the kids go to bed. And then I'm watching Parks and Rec for like the hundredth time over again because I love I love Leslie Nope. Me too. Uh, and um, I went back to watching Jane the Virgin. I'm like way behind, but I stopped watching because I got mad at it. And then the grandma reminds me of my grandma. And then when my grandma passed away, I was like, I can't watch it anymore. But enough time has passed that like I'm okay with it now. So I'm gonna be watching that. Yeah. Where are you at in Jane? I am at where she, spoilers, maybe, fast forward, she's married. Okay. But mm -hmm. I have I have strong opinions on who she's married to because I don't like them. Are you team Raphael? I am team Raphael for life. Me too. For life. Uh, me too. Yeah. And I love Rogelio. And uh, <laughs> Bruno Mars had a cameo at her wedding, remember? Did you see that? No, no, so, oh. <laughs> so I didn't see it. I gotta go back. I, what? Um, <laughs> oh. I like, Spoiler alert. I, I put it on at night and I usually fall asleep and I missed a couple episodes. I'm like, it's okay, they recap pretty good. So like, I missed, I like, I didn't actually see the wedding. Bruno Mars oh, was randomly like at the wedding. Yeah. My son loves him. He's adorable. His favorite song is Uptown Funk and it is so cute. I would totally see him in concert. He seems like so much fun. I'm the two. My sister loved it and saw him. Did she love it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she goes to like all the concerts. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. And then I watched Last Jedi last night because it came out on DVD. I oh, mean, I saw it too. I've seen it like, I saw it twice in the theater, so it's not really anything <laughs> too exciting. And then my children just watch Frozen nonstop now. So <laughs> lots of Frozen in my house, lots of singing. Both my kids like sing to Frozen all the time, and my son tries to like play it cool. It's so cute, I love it. I just don't call him out on it. Like we were in the car, and he just like all of a sudden I hear like the sweetest, purest little "Do you want to build a snowman, baby?" falsetto in the back seat, and I'm just like, "This is amazing! Don't say anything. <laughs> just let it happen." <laughs> You're like weeping inside. <laughs> yeah. And then my daughter just like says let it go like over and over again. She's one, so she's just getting there. So that's all of my uh, my pop culture watching stuff. I watch. Ooh, I'm like shedding like crazy <laughs> over here. Um. So yeah, I watched Last Jedi for the first time. It's so good. It's so good. Oh. I do not understand the backlash. Girl power. I don't know. Girl power. I mean, I'm kind of like a Star Wars super. No, I thought it was so good. I was. We were we got tickets to see it like day after Christmas, and then I got sick and I couldn't go. So Matt went without me, and he didn't see he didn't like have anyone to talk about. Oh, he yeah. Left, so he's like, I haven't said anything. <laughs> <laughs> I need someone to talk to about it. I'm like, okay, I can finally talk to you. And I avoided spoilers, which is pretty impressive that is. considering the big one at the end. You know, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, it was really good. If you haven't seen it, yeah, you've been living under a rock. It's like good. It's good. I'm biased though because I love Star Wars. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be so sad when the next one comes out. I'm, I'm getting very emotional. Want to talk about it? Like I, when I was in the theater, like when Carrie Fisher came on the screen, I just like started, I was so emotional. I started crying. Yeah. Uh, I still like I still up have a, a hard time now. talking about it. <sighs> so, so we watched that. I watched Coco again. And again, I'm Ugh. getting emotional. No, I cannot watch that. Like we a, already discussed that, though. I'm like a yeah. barrel of emotions, I guess. <laughs> I cannot watch that. <laughs> uh, it um, looks so good, though. It's so... You should, 
You should watch it at some uh, point. I know. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough, maybe. Yeah. Maybe I have to watch, watch it by myself. It. Yeah, watch it by yourself. Get out of my first. system and put it out for then the kids. Then you can just like openly weep and like, yeah. your kids won't ask what's Yeah, just on. ugly cry by yeah. myself. <laughs> yeah, I refuse to watch it like in front of anybody. <laughs> because for that exact reason. Yeah. Um what else? What else? What else? Master Chef Junior came back. Do you watch that? I've never seen it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I do have a cooking show to talk about when you're done. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we we love Master Chef Junior, the kid baking Is championship. Is that the one with the guy, the guy who yells? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. yeah. He's like so. It's Is like, he nice to the kids? It's so cute. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and they good. have like funny like kid antics like this past episode. Um, the one, the losing team, mm -hmm. their guy got dunked in a giant milkshake and then they poured like whipped cream on top of him. Yeah. It was like another chef. It wasn't Gordon, but Gordon could have, Gordon's had things like that done to him too. Oh. So it's, it's super cute. He's nicer. There's still like some yelling, but he like talks to the kids and mm -hmm. helps them feel better. And we didn't realize the new season had started and we had like five episodes to watch over the weekend. Nice. So that's pretty good. That's good. And now we've been watching The New Girl. Matt oh, has never yeah. seen it. Yeah. I forgot about that show. Is yeah. it still on the air? Like the final season starts soon. Oh really? Yeah. So I I watched the first maybe two or three and then I lost interest and I was scrolling through things to watch because we always pick like the hour long shows so you can only watch one oh, a day. Oh yeah. I was like, we need something, like, quick and mm -hmm. fun to watch that we don't have to pay too much attention to, so we watched The New Girl from the beginning, and we're on episode seven, I think. We just started. She's so cute. I used to have her bangs. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. wish I could pull off they those were bangs. Pain, but I got rid of them. Uh, every so often I consider bangs, but, like, my face was too round, I think. Maybe if I ever, uh... They're a pain. Lose the pudge. We'll I'm, <laughs> I'm getting my hair cut on Saturday. I'm Are really you? excited. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might cut it all off. I've been growing out for like six months. Like I had like like all of this like shaved. I don't know. I do. But anyway, it was like all shaved. I've been growing it out. It's just been like a pain. So, but now like it's a like, respectable yeah. length that I can do something with it. So, I don't know. I'm excited. I don't know. That's not really pop culture. Sorry. That'll be fun though. Salon so days are always the best. I know. I know. I gotta get, like, my roots. Um, so I you... turned 30 in a week. That's right. I'm feeling feels about that. I considered just, like, booking myself a salon day, drinking wine all afternoon, and... There you go. Yeah. I don't know. I don't... We were... So we were planning on, like, doing something, like, actually going somewhere. But I have to renew my passport still mm. and my driver's license. Oh, and, <laughs> oh, and now, well, now they don't give them to you there. They have to mail them to you. Right. So I was like all ready to book a trip. And I was like, I need to renew my driver's license. Oh, it might not be here in time. Oh, so now we're not going anywhere. You can drive somewhere. We could drive somewhere. Yeah. Where are we going to drive? I don't know. Go to Wisconsin Dells. It's so cheesy and fun. <laughs> I've never been to the Dell. Really? Yeah. Oh, what? I know. That's like... Oh, man. We were considering doing like a Madison weekend. Madison's fun. Yeah. Or I could just go to Yarn Con. I don't know. I need to... <gasps> oh, yeah. Yarn Con. <laughs> I, I don't need... I'm not going to go to Yarn Con. I'll buy yarn. <laughs> I kind of... I want to go just because I've never been before. Yeah. But also, maybe I just want to go to Madison for the weekend. Go to Madison. They have good yarn shops there, too. Do they? Yeah. What? Yeah. I've only been like to one yarn shop in Madison. Oh my gosh, no, they have good yarn yeah. shops. And if you go on a Saturday, they have an amazing farmer's market. And they have cheese curds. Not sponsored by the Madison Tur Tourism Bureau. I said that weird. <laughs> <laughs> cheese curds and New Glarus. New Glarus. That sounds pretty good. And too. at the farmer's market, there's this amazing, like, spicy cheese bread. Ooh, yeah. that sounds amazing. That's good. Um, so, what do you think I should do for my 30th birthday? Send me suggestions. Know. We're in the middle, so we're kind of. Kind of landlocked a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. What does someone who lives in Chicago metropolitan area, what can they do? Or what did you do for your last big birthday? Mm. I had an anniversary of my 29th birthday and went to Dave and Buster's with a bunch of friends. 
That sounds fun. And played ticket games and got like a gazillion tickets and it was really fun and stupid. And I've never been to Dave and Buster. Really? Yet. I know. I have missed out on so many Oh, yeah, you didn't go because you were living in Philly for mine. Yeah. 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 I yeah. like, yeah, like we kept like, like getting this like game where you got a thousand tickets. So I had like, it was a, just like. A bazillion tickets. Yeah. I'm like, what am I going to get? Uh, it was really fun and silly. But that's something. It's fun. That's you can invite fun. people. Go do you it. Can feel Have young. a night. Feel, feel young, young again. Feel young again. <laughs> that's what I did many 29th anniversaries ago. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'm not too. I'm not too freaked out yet. But like I've just reached the point where people have stopped carding me. That might also uh, be because I buy all my booze from the same place. Uh. I don't know. Uh. I get um, carded every once in a while, and I'm so happy when I do, but I kind of think like they're like, I'm going to give this old lady a thrill, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe that's what they're doing for me, too. <laughs> I just have like, I've been waking up super early, so my eyes are like constantly baggy, and like, I look haggard all the no, time. No, you don't. Oh my gosh. Uh, early morning wake-ups. I'm not a morning person. Yeah. Lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. That's how I live my life. Lots of Diet Coke, but then I feel like Trump and I'm like, I need to stop drinking Diet Coke. <laughs> you're not drinking 12, so you're fine. I'm not drinking 12. Um, yeah, I try to kick my Diet Coke habit. My DC. Yeah. I've been doing Soggy March, so we've only been having like booze twice a week. It's been going pretty well. It's good. I don't feel any different though, so. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel more refreshed. Um, Maybe it's those early mornings. Probably. 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 Yeah. So we're back. Okay. <laughs> the battery died a little bit. Um, so we'll figure out where to yeah. place it we together. Keep, there's little knitting breaks between each segment. <laughs> yeah. I plugged it in all day and I think my charger's going or something. So we'll, we'll work on it for next time. Yeah. Um, I think that's all yeah, I've got. I think we're just going to say goodbye. Farewell. So have a good week, everyone. Keep stashing. Yeah, mine's all put away. Wait, hang on. Okay. Keep stashing. Keep stashing. <laughs> Follow us on the social medias. Give yeah. us a comment, a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more. Yeah. We will be back in about two weeks. Yeah. So maybe we'll see you at Yarn Con. Maybe we won't. I don't mm -hmm. know. There will probably be more yarn because I'm expecting at least one more package. I'm expecting one more fall. I don't know when it arrives, though. Okay. There will be anyway. more stash for next time. Bye! Bye. We drank all the wine. Yeah. Oops. Cheers! Oh. Cheers! <laughs>